my guys, I promised you one slide, so here is our one slide. We said that electron affinity was the addition of an electron to the atom. Now, electron affinity becomes more exothermic, meaning that it will release more energy as we move from left to right across a row or across a period. So as I'm moving from the alkali metals, so maybe let's just say lithium here, and then I move towards fluorine, I can see that the halogens have the most negative out of, uh, the most negative electron affinities out of all of the other families. And that's because when they add on that one additional electron, which is what they want to do, they will become more stable because now they have that full outer shell. Um, noble gases, we can see, all have a greater than zero. So in this case, they won't be releasing energy at all. They're going to have to absorb energy before they ever are able to add an electron. And that's because we know that the noble gases are already stable. So they're going to have to absorb a lot of energy if they're going to add on that electron because it's going to cause a lot of instability in the atom. There are a few discontinuities, and this is why we're making this video really quick. So the first problem or the first kind of exception to this is between group one and group two. The second one is going to occur between groups 4A here and then 5A. Okay, so the reason that I see a jump, let's just start, um, let's start actually between 4A and 5A. So when 5A, when my nitrogen family, if we think about the orbital diagram for the nitrogen, it, it, let's just look at nitrogen. Um, I know that there's one electron in each P orbital. So there's quite a bit of stability there. When I add an electron to nitrogen, if we're thinking about its electron affinity, right here it's telling me that it's gonna be greater than zero. It's going to be greater than zero because that extra electron is now going to cause some type of electron repulsion. So because now I've added extra electron repulsion, it really creates a more of an instability in the atom. Um, so moving from here to here, I'm going to see a small jump because I'm going to have more electron repulsion in the nitrogen family once they've added that extra electron. And electron repulsion is in orbitals is something that we're trying to stick away from um, if we're thinking about stability of the atom, okay? If I have from 1A to 2A, I see here that, let's just look at either from lithium to beryllium or from sodium here um, to magnesium. So in this case, I have to absorb a certain amount of energy here for beryllium, and then I would also have to absorb a certain amount of energy for magnesium. Whenever beryllium absorbs or adds an electron, not absorbs, when it adds an electron, right now beryllium would have, if, if we're thinking about it without the electron, beryllium would have a full S orbital. When I add on an electron, I've now added on a completely new orbital because it would go into the P orbital. So I would have a full S and then I would have an additional orbital now that has an electron in the P orbital. So because of that, the electron is farther from the nucleus and it feels repulsion from the entire S orbital. So that one extra P electron that beryllium has now added has created a whole new orbital in the atom and I'm now feeling orbital repulsion. It's not even electrons repelling one another within an orbital, but now I'm actually feeling orbital repulsion. So because of that, it would prefer to not add on the electron, which is why beryllium will have to absorb some amount of energy. Same with magnesium, and then we'll see that calcium and strontium are very similar with that regard as well. So because I'm adding on an additional orbital here by adding an electron, we have orbital repulsion, which is something that will create instability within the atom, okay? So that's why I see a discontinuity between one and two, and then again between four and five. Um, nitrogen, 
already has one electron in each orbital, so it's minimized kind of its electron repulsion. If I add the electron, I'm going to create more electron repulsion, so the atom just inherently does not want that to happen, okay? Um, guys, on Monday, we're going to do some FRQ questions, and then on Tuesday, we'll play a review game. Wednesday's your multiple choice test. Thursday is your free response test over chapters six and seven. And then Friday, we're going to start chapters eight and nine. So you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, I will see you on Monday. Bye.